Hello. Hello, hello, I'm live. So apparently I forgot how to go live not using Zoom. So <laughs> I guess I always connect it to my live stream. So um, this time I was just gonna try to go live, but apparently I can't remember how to do it without using my Zoom. So anyway, um, I think I remember now, but too late. Can you guys hear me and see me okay? Do I need to turn up my microphone or anything? Hopefully it's okay. All right, so let's see. Today, I wanted to talk to you about beginning of the year books for elementary school children. Um, I have been a kindergarten teacher, elementary school teacher for, oh man, like 13 years now, something like that. Plus I was an ESL teacher in Japan as well for about six and a half years. And um, I've taught online as well. So I've kind of been a, a teacher to many. Um, younger grades seem to be my jam. So we're gonna talk about beginning of the year books for the little kids. I'm gonna pull up my notes. Guys, there are so many that it was hard to kind of decide which ones to keep on my list. Um, and then of course you can look at other lists like um, I'll, I'll tell you about um, Scholastic also has a beginning of the year list, but some of the ones that I use that are my favorites was The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. Um, come on, some of you must have heard about it. Put it in the chat if you've heard about it or have read this book to kids. Um, if you're a parent and your child's going to school, it basically just talks about having a kiss from you to your child. And it's just so sweet. We do a, lo a little project um, with the kissing hand um, the first week of school. So well, I miss it. Okay. And um, how full is your bucket? Or um, there's another bucket one I wanted to tell you all about. Fill a bucket, a guide to daily happiness for young children. So basically filling your bucket or filling somebody else's bucket is teaching them how to be good friends, saying nice things, filling somebody's bucket up, keeping them happy. And what happens when somebody's bucket is half empty and how can you fill their bucket and things like that. So, hey, Rebecca, thanks for coming. You're so sweet. I know it's late. Um, just, I have been wanting to make this video and I keep putting it off and I wanted everything to be perfect. And I figured if I keep trying to make this perfect, I'm just never gonna do it. So. I might as well just do it, but it's something I just love. Okay, so another fun book for the beginning of the year, Interrupting Chicken um, by David Ezra Stein. And it's just hilarious. And it talks about like interrupting <laughs> and why students shouldn't. Um, that's a fun one. Let's see. I wanted to have like a lot of books ready for you guys, but I just got a few. I should be putting the kids to bed, but procrastinating. <laughs> Oops, I'll try to be quick. Because I know you like this topic too, right? Hello, Nostalgic Pod Blast. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. So let's see. A letter from the teacher on first day of school. Pete the Cat, Rocking in My School Shoes by Eric Lippman. That's always a fun one. Chrysanthemum by Kevin Henkes. Oh, that's so sweet. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. Um, that's a story. Basically, they make fun of her and every time she kind of wilts just a little bit more. And our school guidance counselor did an amazing, um, what do you call it? Like a class on this. And every time they made fun of her, they would crumble. She would crumble her picture a little bit. And then at the end, yes, you can fix it and straighten it out, but it's still a little wrinkly. And oh, it's such a good lesson. Um, so we have chrysanthemum on my list. First day jitters. Oh, these are so cute. Wait, is first day jitters the one with the teacher? I think so. I'm gonna have to look it back up. Um, there's one, it's on my list. I think it's first day jitters where you go through the whole book and they're nervous to start kindergarten. And you it come you come to find out that's actually the teacher that's nervous for the first day of school. And it's just super cute. 10 Black Dots by Donald Cruz. Guys, that book has been around since like 1995 and it's still read in so many kindergarten classrooms, pre-K classrooms. 
um, pretty much anyone that does math with young kids. Um, and I do have links to a lot of these below, but what I wanna know is put in the chat box one of your favorite books um, to start the kindergarten year or pre-K or early childhood or elementary school. Um, let's make a list of books. I would love to make another list and shout them out. Um, another one of my favorite is Chicka Chicka. Make sure I'm still on screen and you can see me. So, okay, so Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. It has all the letters in it. And I don't know where I got this from, but it was um, the beginning of the year. We do Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Look who's here in our room. And then they say, Rebecca. And then all the kids say, Rebecca. And it's a great way to learn all the kids' names. And I do this the whole first week of school, the school that I used to teach at, we had a staggered start. So say the kids started on um, half the class started on Wednesday, half the class, the other half the class started on Thursday. And then we had all the kids on Friday. Um, and that's just a, it was just a fun book. So on Wednesday, we would do it with half the class. And on Thursday, we would do it with the next half of class. So of course, I'm learning the names as well, which we do home visits where I came from. So I had already learned the names and played with the kids a little bit. But now they get to learn their friends' names. And then on Friday, you do the whole group. And it's a great icebreaker. If the kids don't want to say their own name the first week, no big deal. You help them out. So um, that's always just a fun thing. So it's Chicka Chicka, boom, boom, look who's here in our room. And then the child says their name and then everybody says their name. And you just go around the, the group like that. So, and I do a whole thing, Chicka Chicka, boom, boom, Chicka Chicka, one, two, three, make sure you can see me, okay. Um, and this is the numbers, of course, just super cute, super fun. So you can do a whole week of Chicka Chicka. Um, let's see, I have Pout Pout Fish, back to school. And I also have the pout pout fish goes to school. So these actually I have um, on my YouTube channel. I did get the, um, the publisher said I could read them. So on my YouTube channel, I was super excited that I get to read pout pout fish um, on my YouTube channel. So if you don't buy them, they are free on my channel under Casey's classroom, I think is the playlist. Maybe I'll remember to link it. Um, Rebecca says, I love Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Me too. Me too. So let's see what other books are on my list. Oh man, I have a ton, so I should probably not read them all to you, but oh, here's some that I've never heard of before, but it was on a list of suggested ones. Our class is a family. I want to check that one out. I want to check out Invisible String. All are welcome. Recess Queen, I have heard of before. That was on the list for beginning of the year, but I actually used it as part of a um, guided reading. So um, was it guided reading or read aloud? I had a whole like work planned around it and lesson plan around it. And so Recess Queen was kind of fun too. Um, no David is always funny. I didn't see that one on Amazon. So I don't know about that one. Um, do unto otters. That was cute. We don't eat our classmates. <laughs> um, the girl who never made mistakes by Mark Pett and Gary Rubenstein. I have not read that one. I was looking into that one a little bit. So let me know if you've heard of them or you have, um, you bought those. I want to know. I used to have thousands and thousands of books before I became an online teacher. And I actually, um, sold most of them for like 50 cents a book. I had hard cover book. I had all kinds of books and I'm so glad most of them went to a first year teacher. Um, so it's kind of weird that I don't have all these books on hand, but I still have quite a few tubs to hand down to the grand baby at this time, but just in case there's more someday. Um, so I wanted to go to really quick, uh, the scholastic one and let you know, did I close it? No, here it is. Okay, so Scholastic says, I asked about first day of kindergarten books. Scholastic says, oh, I forgot. Clifford goes to kindergarten. I have Clifford goes to kindergarten. I think there's a Clifford goes to school. I think I typed in kindergarten. It's just a habit. Um, that's a cute one I forgot about. 
and the noodles book there's one um i love school that's a good one oh the night before kindergarten cute oh can't forget about the pigeon books the pigeon has to go to school <laughs> off to kindergarten that's for pre-k through third so that's a great one. Oh, here's no david on this list too you can't help it no david gets them all giggling and laughing Preview the book to see if you're comfortable reading it. I think that's the one where he he does run the street in his underwear and they tell him, no, David. So <laughs> super cute. All right. So that was just a list I have for beginning of the year. I plan on making a, let me know what you think. Either a, it might be both actually, a monthly list of books you know how they come up in order in our lesson plans because I have all my lesson plans with the books that I have um, or like Christmas books and thematic books. So anyway, that's just been on my mind and I wanted to share, you know, some of the books that I love to start off the year. All the Chester books are super cute. Um, oh, the Chester books. I didn't even look that look that one up yet tonight. <laughs> I've been going online finding all the books. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you have any favorite books that you like to start off your elementary school year with? Um, I want to come up with a big list. So put them in the chat box, please. And everybody, um, this video was started because Prime Days is coming up. And I know a lot of teachers are looking for stuff for their classrooms. So I thought, well, if you're looking for books beginning of the year, you might want to um, take a look at them. So Links are below if anybody needs any. They are affiliate links, but um, it doesn't cost you any more to get them so or to use the links, but it does help me and my channel. And I guess that's about it. Let's see. Learning Spanish with Alexandra Monsal. Hi, do you teach Spanish on out school? I don't. I have a friend that does. Evelyn Joy does. Um, I haven't taught on out school for a few months, actually. Um, I said, so, oh man, it's been almost a year now, I think, since my grandbaby was born because <laughs> I've been traveling a lot. And then unfortunately, my grandmother, we found out she has dementia. So um, I've been traveling to Boston to see her as well. So, um, but I haven't been on out school in a while, but I do have a friend, Evelyn Joy. She teaches um, Spanish on out school. She also has a channel. So, um, look her up if you can. And Rebecca F is on here. She doesn't teach Spanish, but she's also on out school. Let's see. Nostalgic pod blast Tuesday. It's when my nine-year-old niece, Sally, and my nephew. Oh, they go back to school on August 1st. Um, when does my family go out to school? Go back to school. I can't remember when they go back, but a lot of them just ended. Um, I'm going to look that up. Now you've got me thinking. We always went back in like mm, the end of August was teacher work days. And then we started the beginning of September, I believe. What grade do you teach? My sister teaches second grade. Um, I have mostly taught kindergarten. I've worked in first grade. Um, and right now online, I teach multiple ages. But um, my jam is the younger one. So kindergarten, first grade, second grade is still my, my thing. But I have taught all the way up to adults. Um, I don't know. There's just something about the, the little ones. So I miss being in the classroom with the little ones, though. So, but kindergarten has been my jam for many, many years. I did my student teaching in first grade also. So second grade, man, your sister's smart. <laughs> That's a fun, fun age. So, all right, everyone, feel free to put questions, comments below, and let me know if there's anything you want me to research for you for teacher resources. I love looking into that. Oh, and if you don't mind a little shout out, I started an Etsy store with some cute things for classroom decor. I don't even know that I have the link, but below, but, um, I'm just enjoying making teacher resources now. So, all right, everyone. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I know it's late um, and I appreciate it.
All right, everyone. Until next time. See you. Bye. Which school do you teach for online? Oh, um, out school. I work for Duna, but I don't teach for them. Duna language. Um, I'm a recruiter for them. Rebecca teaches for them. Um, and also Lingo Ace. I'm a recruiter for, but I'm in, I don't teach for them yet. I was teaching for Kid Pass. They're not accepting new teachers right now. Um, and see, I drew a blank. I worked for VIP Kid for many, many years, but I haven't opened any slots. So yeah, <laughs> that's about it. And then I just started working for myself for a while there. So all right, guys, thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.